Good evening, all. I'm Rab Stein with your Metal Market Wrap-Up for this Tuesday, August 1st, 2023, getting on to 6.30 p.m. Central Time. You know, I had one of you write, and you'd like me to do these earlier, and I agree with you. Uh, if my time allows, I'm going to try to start doing these maybe an hour earlier than this if I can get them done. I'm not saying I can't. You, you have no idea how busy I get in late afternoon because I publish evening updates for my subscribers. I write a newsletter. It's not the easiest thing. But I do realize what you're saying, and I'd like to get done earlier, too. Then I could start drinking my wine on a day like today. <laughs> All right. So. We're getting a bounce tonight in the gold and the silver market and the platinum. It's overdue. Did you see the plunge these markets have made? They're starting to get into oversold territory. Why do you think this has happened? Well, one of the reasons, and you won't believe it because you'll say bonds and, uh, bonds and notes are up. They are, but we're coming to the auction time. So the Fed had to do a quarterly refunding. And if you've watched what bonds, notes, BND, TLT, if you're an ETF trader, they've all been coming down hard as the market's been building in yield, getting itself ready because when the Fed comes that they have to do $102 billion worth of funding, they're going to make them pay up. Got it? If you want to get that debt, you want to take it on, you want a reasonable yield. And that's what's happened. So eventually that will come out of play. Now, we also saw today that President Trump, another indictment, so it's the third one. And of course, it's not political and timing or anything like that, but I think you know darn well it is. When I take a look at all this and try to figure out where to go with it, the dollar's been up, but you're starting to get a rally, a good one out of the euro. So you're probably getting that flip-flop that I said is going to happen, a minimum of correction in the markets. As we take a look at the gold market, you can see how it's come up, turned back away from the 18-day average and coming back down. When you close over that 18-day average, it could be the beginning of a more pronounced move in the gold market over time. When we look at a daily bar chart, you see how the market has been coming down. The pattern is bearish. This is a swing line, friends. That is this brown line that you put on it. And I use it and created it. By the way, it has five variables. It looks to see, do you have a higher high day, a lower low day, an inside day, an outside day up, or an outside day down? And from there, I created an indicator so I can easily look at this and say, ah, the trend is down up until the market takes out 2010.90. If that happens, you break the pattern of lower highs, lower lows. So I instantly know the risk associated if I wanted to put on short trends. I then take a look and see where the market's at. This market failed on rallies at the 100-day average. It's now gotten for the first time back underneath the 18, but it's getting a rally. I would expect you're going to see resistance at 1998.70. That's where I think the bears will try to defend the market, just on price until the market gets over 2010.90. Now, if it gets over 2010.90, you take also a look at another part to it, and I'll show you that in a minute. Where do I think it can get down to? Possibly the lower Bollinger Band if it lets go, but here's what I look at, and I go, uh-uh. If I'm a bear, do I really want to defend the market at that number? And my answer would be no. And you'll say, why? And I'll say because you're oversold. And oversold corrections, oversold conditions either do one of two things. They embed, which this market's not even trying to do, or they correct, and I don't know how far the correction will go. Now, if suddenly I were in the 30-40 area and then approaching the 18-day average, I'd be more comfortable. But a 25 number doesn't excite me. When we look at the gold-silver ratio, look at how the market has come down right into that. That's the key resistance. Now, if this line starts going up, it means silver is going to lose to gold. And when you look at silver, it can go either way here. The trend is down. It has found support against the green line, the 100-day average, and the 18 right there. Do you see that? Interesting to see what's going on. In the copper market, lower low, higher high. I said it yesterday, I'm going to repeat. I have no idea why that market went up there from a fundamental point of view. Chart-wise, I could care. I, that, that's what I do. There was no trend. 
You got to the Bollinger Band, a total failure. It's almost like an engineered move and right back down to the 18-day average of closes. Very, very strange play. All off the hope that China was going to do something with infrastructure, homes, housing developments, and like they didn't do a darn thing. They talk the talk, they don't do the walk. Very big difference. Lower highs, lower lows, oversold market at this point. And in the dollar, I'm looking for a peak in this general area. You're up to the 100-day average again in green and approaching the upper Bollinger Band and you're overbought. I think the pros will take money off the table. So I want to remind you, you know, we have an awful lot of offers for you. If you go to on our website, irapstein.com, and you take a look, you will get to a page that says free offers. It looks like this. You simply click on in the blue here, any of them that you want. We're talking charting software. We're talking market access to everything I've got, courses, things of that nature. You just click away and away you go. Now on the bottom of this, as you move down, when you're through, there's a form that you'll fill out. It's that simple. And there you go. That's how it works. You put in your name, your email address. If you got notes for us, whatever it is, we generally send this out the next business day after we get it. Comes right to us on the website and everything will come to you by email. So take advantage of it. You can even get access to my research. You can see the morning subscriber videos what people pay for, for a limited time, I like to put it in your hands. Again, give a click up here where you see free offers at the very top. There's a link that we put up there for you. Or you can go to our website, irapstein.com. Have a good evening.